Hey everyone, so it's been a while since I did a tutorial, just when everything opened back up. I just got really busy and then I just focused on my TikToks and whatever. So here I am filming again. So like I said, everything is back opened, but food and drinks are all outdoor. So I'm going to go out and have a few drinks outside, obviously, and I'm going to get ready. So I just said, I just film the look. So here I go, um, I've already done the base, my normal foundation, I am burnt to, look at that, <gasps> I had such a good day on the beach, so my eyes are primed and now I'm going to go in with, I'm just going to do neutral colours because like I say, I always have neutral when I'm going out, so boring. With this palette because I didn't really, I haven't been really using it, so I'm going to go in with this, it's my Inglot one. And I'm going to go in with this colour and it's in number 368. It's just like this. And it's kind of like a nice peachy tone. This is a Sigma SS217. I'm going to get that colour. I'm just going to buff this all over my lid. Go in and this is going to be my nice transition colour. I do want everything to be soft because it's quite sunny out and when it's sunny I like to kind of keep it real natural and beachy that's why I kind of just had my hair wavy and I'm gonna wear like a skirt a mint and white what color is it mint white and gray outfit it's gonna look very summery and fresh so I don't want anything too heavy on my eyes like I'm literally just dusting this all on my eye socket above my eye crease like that, not being too neat. There we go. The fluffier the brush, the more it's gonna spread out the color. So the more dense, the more it's gonna keep that eyeshadow in place where you want it to be. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm gonna go in with this color here and it's number 285. From Ingla again, we're gonna keep it like Ingla today so that I'm not chop it and changing and I'm just gonna focus that like a V on my lash line this is a nice soft brown and then into my crease again still soft these colors are really soft you just kind of have to just keep building it up as much as you want it to be I'm gonna drag it down the lash line because what I do to the top I want to do to the bottom now this is very, very subtle, so I'm going to go in with my last colour and it's going to be this lovely burnt kind of orangey colour in 229 and I'm going to get a different brush for that one. I'm just going to get the Kaylee one and then kind of print it down on like a V and then... just really darkening it out in that corner the reason why you lay down the other two colors is so that this blends nicely into them and it's not too harsh so i'm basically fiddling the brush inside my eye socket and going back and forth window wipers and i'm trying to aim to go above my crease at that little bit and it's just going to give it a nice um smoky finish see like that Again, I don't want any harsh lines. I'm not going for like a cut crease. So I'll go kind of on the bottom lash line, place my brush inside my socket because this one is quite flat. So it fits in there nicely and I'm just going back and forth like that. Just to create a nice, soft, smoky finish. And then I'm going to use the same brush and the same colour and smoke it under my bottom lash line like so. So it's all just going to melt together. And then because it's like sunny, kind of like a little bit of shine in there. So there's a nice little shimmery colour in this palette that I created. Let's flick it out the side. So this is this is what we have so far. And then I'm gonna get like a little flat brush. So this one. And there's a nice kind of goldy colour in this and it's number 
30 and it just looks like this. Don't mind my crusty dusty nails. Let's pop some in the... Yeah, that's nice. Just in here. And then in here. And then kind of pat it towards the end so it just kind of like laid into the dark. And then I'm going to put it in my tear duct. I kind of like that nice and bright. I love that kind of really bright in here. It gives it a nice finish. Keeps your eyes nice and, I mean, look at that. Open, doesn't it? Really opens up the eye when you put the shimmer in there like a small shader brush like this and I'm gonna go in with that dark color that we just used and then just go even tighter to the lash line just to give it a bit more definition because it's a bit too smoky for me I think yeah and then I might just do it a bit on the top here just stamping it on and rubbing it onto my top lash line and then I'll do the lips and then we're done Oh, my lashes need to be done in a bad way. That was the Inglot that I created. Now, lastly, I'm going to do my lips because it's outdoor. Like, I will have obviously my mask off for most of it. So I actually got this Dragon Beauty by Nikita Dragon. And this is in the colour Horchata. <laughs> so I didn't know that, so that's a funny name isn't it and then I uh, my lip liner is going to be from Beauty Bay I got a box like this and there is four shades in it and I think I'm gonna go with the darkest color so they're like basically a box of nudes perfect for me so let me just see because I've never used this this is my, and look at this I took this out of packaging before our box and I was like oh, wow look at this I'm sorry I'm kind of new to Nikita Dragon's um, cosmetic range. So there it is. And then it has Dragon Beauty going down. That, yeah. So it's a nice little plastic crystal. So it's quite nude, as you can see. So I think I'm going to go with what's this called? Um, Heather? Heather? I don't know. That's a weird name for. Unless I can't read it. It's really hard to read. If you look at it, it's really like silvery. And the shine is off the lights. But anyways, I'm going in with this colour. I'll write it down in the description. Let me just see. Because I always like my lip liner slightly darker than my lip colour. Okay. This one is definitely more mauve -y, I would say. I'm not really... I don't think I'm really feeling that colour. Yeah. Right, anyways, just let's try. Ooh, I love the little applicator. The applicator is so nice. And it, smell, it smells like, it's like... Yeah, you see, this is really nude, isn't it? I don't think I picked the right lip liner, but we're going to just try and blend it in. I'm sure it'll be fine. I think this is a matte, a matte finish. So it should last. I'm not going to bring this out because I couldn't be bothered tapping it up. But it doesn't look too bad on the camera. It looks actually quite nice. Once you kind of blend it in with that lip liner. That lip liner was too pinky rosy colour. And this is definitely a nude brown. So yeah. Smells nice. Feels nice. It's still drying down. So yeah. This is the finished result. And now I can get ready and walk down to the pub so yeah this is a quick 10 minute get ready with me i hope you like this tutorial if you do don't, don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below and i shall see you in the next video bye